Hello again, everybody. The History Guy here. Something a little different today. Um, I posted a little bit about this in Discord. We've talked about it a bit on discussion on a couple of my videos, but I wanted to do a, a video where I just talk about this new upcoming game. Uh, it's called Grand Tactician. It's a Civil War game, and some of you may have already seen some of this, or you may have caught somebody else's video talking about it. Um, but I, a couple of days ago, I had an opportunity to talk a little bit with Ilya, who's one of the uh, people working on this game. And I uh, just wanted to connect with them so that I could kind of stay in the loop. And I will definitely be bringing you updates as there are updates about the game. It's in very early alpha stage right now. So it's not even in a place where anybody gets to play it outside of the developers. But I promise you, as soon as I can get my hands on a copy of the game, you will definitely get to see some gameplay. And this is one we will be following very closely. Uh, if you want to just read all this for yourself, you can just go to grandtactician.com. That is the website for the game. But I thought I would just show you a little bit of what they are showing right now. Uh, and the best place to look at that is right here under Features. Uh, and of course, it's a, it's a real-time strategy game about the Civil War coming to PC on Steam. And I'll just read through some of the features here, and then we can look at some of the screenshots uh, of the game. Uh, Grand Tactician The Civil War 1861 to 1865 is a real-time strategy game where you will run your nation, muster, manage, and support great armies, and maneuver them to defeat the enemy. Once the opposing armies meet, command your troops to victory in battles fought on historic battlefields. So, uh, on the surface, sounds a lot like Ultimate General Civil War, but as you see, you will see as we go along, there will definitely be some differences. Uh, choose your side, real-time campaign spanning from secession to the end of the war with historical objectives for both sides. Uh, change history, what if European superpowers intervened to end the war or Lincoln lost the presidential election of 1864? So there you can see there's some differences, there's some politics involved. Uh, I don't know exactly how that's going to look yet, but it obviously has a depth that Ultimate General doesn't currently offer. Uh, Scott's Great Snake, lay siege, raid, and blockade your enemy on land or sea, or use blockade runners to keep the lifelines to Europe open. Uh, if you're not familiar with the reference there, uh, it's referring to Winfield Scott's Anaconda plan, uh, which at the beginning of the Civil War, Winfield Scott was the commanding general of the, uh, the Union armies. Uh, he never took the field and very shortly thereafter retired, but uh, his plan was to squeeze the South by uh, cutting them off uh, from the rest of the world, the Anaconda Plan, the, the blockade, taking uh, the Mississippi to cut them in half. Uh, from Fort Sumter to Appomattox, watch closely the morale of your citizens and troops. As the war drags on, fervor turns to fatigue, the treasury threatens to run dry, and measures like drafting will cause unrest. Keep the armies marching. Build and manage the flow of supplies to your armies. Utilize and expand railroad lines to, to supply and move armies for the first time in history. Pivotal battles. Fight battles lasting multiple days on historical battlefields. Use engineers to build pontoons and dig trenches. See reinforcements change the tide and commit your reserves to defeat the enemy. Grant versus Lee manage hundreds of historical commanders with personal attributes and specialization. Famous commanders inspire soldiers and citizens alike and loss of reputation can be irreparable. Command great armies, huge armies of infantry, cavalry, and artillery with realistic command structures and historical order of battle. Bring the Civil War to life. Amazing Civil War reenactment and combat footage from Lionheart Filmworks. If you guys have seen any of the stuff they've done on YouTube or on, I think it's on Fox News, they're uh, doing a special. Um, you'll f be familiar with them. Uh, and original soundtrack of old-time music and drum and fife band. So let's take a look at some of the screenshots. Uh, for this game because they look beautiful they really do and you can see kind of some of the victory points here uh, we've got the field, battlefield for the first battle of bull run you can see kind of some of the controls uh, on the screen there and uh, here apparently is a shot of a battle happening in real time and, and it looks like you can kind of see the balance of uh, who's who's winning and, and how it's going uh, you've got objectives that have to be held for so long uh, you've got different orders that can be given. You can see here, it looks like everything's done at the brigade level. Uh, the number of men, losses, the number of guns they have, morale, the commanding officer, uh, the type of weapons that they have, how many uh, shots they have left, 
how they are in melee and cover, uh, what their status is, what their situation is, how their cohesion is. So this is fascinating, and I think if they pull this off effectively, this could be an incredible game. You can actually see where the units are. So a little bit of a feel like Ultimate General Civil War as far as how the battle, the, the units look on the battlefield. And here we have somebody actually in action. And again, this is first, uh, first bull run. You've got the Stone Bridge. You've got Henry Hill here. You've got a Union uh, unit here, Confederates. Hampton's Legion. You can see their losses. You can see their number of men. Again, uh, all of the same information. Down here, it looks like there's a, kind of a, a speed and timer because you're obviously dealing with real-time combat. And I think you probably apparently can zoom out and get more of a, uh, a look at how things are. Now, if this is what the, the maps look like, I, this is really cool, I think. Um, if this is real time, in other words, as your units move, they, they move on the battlefield. But it, the map looks like this. I love it. I really love that. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. It, it looks like an old Civil War map. And if that's happening in real time, big kudos for them on that one. I think that's a really cool way to show that. Uh, again, just another look, and you can kind of see, um, apparently this is like where they're really effective range, and then of course the, the max range on their weapons, I would guess, is what that is there. So it uh, looks like it's getting darker here on this one, and you've got different orders like fire at will. Um, so I'm excited. I mean, I know this has got a long way to go, but even just looking at it as it stands right now, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the potential of this game. Here's the Battle of Shiloh. Looks like you've got your order of battle here. And again, really cool how they've done this to make it feel old, but of course, it's all kind of completely changing as your game is changing. So you kind of see their whole order of battle here. I love it. I'm excited about this. I really can't look for look forward to it enough. Uh, looks like the men are marching up the road here. So it almost, to me, gives a little bit of a feel of Scourge of War mixed with Ultimate General combined with the kind of campaign that is offered by something like a Total War or um, uh, a Civil War II, uh, the A-God game, which is really difficult uh, and has a kind of a steep learning curve. Uh, and then just some of the images. looks like they've been colorized to a degree, so that's kind of cool. Um, and we're back to the beginning. So that's just some of, uh, some of the screenshots that are available. And uh, there is also a short YouTube clip that kind of announces the game, and I will put the link to that um, in the description below so you guys can see that. It's about three minutes long. It shows a little bit of real-time gameplay happening. So, uh, But if you guys want to know more, uh, they do have a place here where you can enter your email address and subscribe to their mailing lists. Uh, follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube so you can find out more and get all the latest updates. And I promise you, I am on their press list so as they have announcements and updates, I will get those right away, and I will be sure to pass them along to you. And as soon as I can get my hands on an early copy of this game, you will definitely see it right away. Uh, so I'm excited about this. There's really not much more I can say about it that you can't check out for yourself. Um, but like I said, I've connected with Ilya. Seems like a, a cool person. And I will pass along anything that they pass along to me. In the meantime, continue to get out there and have fun. Uh, enjoy your games. Enjoy this channel. Please hit the thumbs up and share this if you would with other people. And we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching, guys.